Here's the best risk management system to use when trading penny stocks or any other highly speculative investment. Obviously, investing in anything speculative comes with the risk of losing all of your money. But what can we do to limit or completely eliminate that risk in many cases? There's a few things we can do immediately. First of all, if you're a beginner, you should only be trading in a paper portfolio. A paper portfolio will allow you to trade real stocks in real time, but without the risk of losing it all. No risk whatsoever to learn, because a paper portfolio, although it allows you to place real trades in real time, it's not real money. Even if you lose 10 out of 10 trades, you won't be down any money. The caveat is you also don't get to keep any of the profits. But this is a completely free way to learn how to trade stocks and practice your strategies without risking any of your real money. A lot of people who join our 30 day poor dad to rich dad challenge practice all of the strategies we teach inside these free paper portfolios. I've only been in a few weeks, but I'm already up 54%. I couldn't be happier with my experience always checking in on me saying, hey, you haven't seen me in the chat. They really know what they're talking about. We teach beginners how to trade stocks, options, and futures. We teach day trading strategies, long-term investing strategies, and even how to play the downside of these securities. But just like anything in life, anytime you start something new, you're going to suck at it at first. You're going to make mistakes, and it's best to make those mistakes inside of a paper portfolio so that you don't lose any real money while you practice. And of course, if you join an alpha level program, you're also going to be able to skip over a ton of the beginner level mistakes because we're going to teach you and show you most of those mistakes so that you don't have to make them for yourself. And over the last three weeks, I've been earning. This is legit real. Taking those 10, 15% gains and being okay with that. You know, that's going to add up over time. I feel that I'm involved in something that's like made for that middle-aged dad or or the average person that really wants to learn and, and be involved in something that they're not getting pumped and dumped on. My hat's off to you for real. If you'd like to accelerate your learning and skip straight to the profits, you can sign up with the link in my top pinned comment. But another thing we must do to limit our overall risk on each trade is never go all in. If you're investing $5,000 into the stock market, no single investment should be worth more than 20% of your entire portfolio. 20% is still a lot too. But most experts generally agree that diversity is better. You diversify your investments by investing in different stocks, different sectors, and even different asset types. Going all in on one setup is the number one way investors blow up their portfolio. Like, take it back to zero dollar value. So it's extremely difficult to blow up a portfolio that's invested in many different stocks, sectors, and assets. The risk is hedged much more evenly and spread across many different assets. It's not uncommon for one sector to experience a massive downward move all at the same time, but it typically takes a major worldwide events to tank the entire stock market all at the same time. Another way to limit your risk is using stop losses. A stop loss is an automated sell order that you can place at either a predetermined price or as a percentage basis. To oversimplify it, if you think a stock is about to move up in price, but you want to limit your risk just in case you're wrong, you can buy one stock at a dollar. You can then place a stop loss at 90 cents and protect yourself from losing any more than that 10 cent spread. If the price moves up as you anticipated and expected, then great, you made money. That means you're probably subscribed to this channel and receive our daily text messages with buy and sell alerts. But if it moves down and starts crashing all the way down to just 10 cents per share, you will have only lost 10 cents instead of losing 90 cents. In this oversimplified example, that means you will have only lost 10% and not 90% of that investment. And because you didn't invest all of your money into that one stock, you also wouldn't have lost 10% of your entire portfolio. If you would have only invested 20% of your entire portfolio, like I suggested earlier, then this 10% loss on this trade would not be a 10% loss on your entire portfolio. Your entire portfolio would only be down just 2% instead of 10%. Implementing these three things alone can dramatically improve your performance trading, but there's two more tricks that can increase your results even more than this one. The next best thing you can do is join my program. If you're watching this right now, then you probably already hate your current income level and you're looking for a way to make more money and possibly maybe even eventually leave your job that you probably hate. 
That's why I started trading, and within a year, I was able to quit Olive Garden, trade full-time, and became famous for turning $5,000 into over $100,000 by logging all of my trades on this channel. This is what helped me reach 100,000 subscribers and get this plaque from YouTube for doing so. I'm waiting for Andrew to come in person so we can open it together because we created the channel together. Only seems fair. So if you're tired of slaving away for corporate America and want to learn strategies from me and my team that can potentially make you an extra $10,000 per month, you can sign up at the link in my top pinned comment and we'll get you on the right track immediately in our new 30 day poor dad to rich dad challenge. You will learn how to trade these stocks confidently in 30 days or your money back. No risk, just like practicing in a paper portfolio. Stop screwing around and sign up now. And the last and probably the single greatest way to limit your risk is to journal your trades. We're all human and we're all wrong sometimes, even me. I actually never journaled any of my trades for the first three years I was trading. I was profitable overall, but I also lost over $100,000 in various mistakes that I made along the way on bad trades. And many times I repeated the same mistakes over and over again. Raise your hand right now if you held GME through Roaring Kitty's live stream and you also held Dogecoin through Elon Musk's Saturday Night Live appearance. Both of those resulted in this same result. The investment crashed as soon as the streams were live. Many of you watching this right now made that same mistake twice or more. And that's a simple one. Buy the rumor and sell the news. But you didn't sell the news. You held through the news and watched your investment plummet in price. Andrew even made a video a day before Roaring Kitty went live and told everyone to sell. It was even in the thumbnail. Yet many of you didn't sell and thought that the stock would go higher. It didn't though. It sold off hard. Three, were, three mistakes were made here. One, you didn't subscribe to this channel and heed Andrew's non-financial advice. And two, you didn't learn from your mistake the first time you held through major news. And three, you may not have realized this mistake because you're not logging and journaling your trades. By writing down your entry prices, exit prices, max prices that the stocks reached, dates and times, you can easily see patterns and mistakes. And it's easy to make small adjustments when you can see the mistakes clearly. I wish I journaled all of my trades the first few years that I was trading. My trading improved significantly after I started journaling all of my trades. I always knew Friday sucked for my trading. I didn't need a journal to know that, but I didn't realize that both Thursdays and Wednesdays often performed very similar to Fridays for me. After I started writing down all of my trades, I realized that I always made like 80% of my profits on just Mondays and Tuesdays as far as this one strategy goes. After I started writing down my trades, the times and the dates, I also learned and can more easily see when the best times to trade are. Sometimes it's in the after hours, sometimes the trend changes to regular market hours, and lately I've been seeing the most success in the pre-market hours. And all of this is readily apparent in my trading journal, which I may not have ever known without logging all of my trades. There's plenty of free online ones that you can use or just simply create your own Excel spreadsheet just like I did. But in any case, I highly recommend journaling all of your trades immediately. And of course, signing up for my 30 day poor dad to rich dad program. I'll teach you all of the strategies that I used to turn 5k into over 100k. And your only regret will be that you didn't join sooner. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. None of this is financial advice and nobody ever makes any money on my text messages. I am up over 364% on just that one play alone. Ignore that testimonial. I'm up about $25,000. Ignore that honest testimonial. That's just a one-off. Nobody else has ever made any money inside my community. And uh, I started with about 5,500 bucks and I turned it into a six figure account already. Okay, ignore that one too. He came in with a lot of experience and I know not everybody has as much experience as he did when he first came in. I made $2,800 so far. Maybe a little. Okay, I need you to go ahead and ignore that one too. Although she didn't come in with any experience, she did apply a lot of dedication and effort into learning everything we have to teach. My first day, I was up $120 in my portfolio. Okay, I need you to ignore her as well. She also came in with no experience, but showed up every single day and committed her life to learning the skill. Ten minutes later, I pulled out with a $5,000 game. Okay, ignore that one too. Although these are honest reviews, you're not supposed to look at these. I would not have been able to do this without my and yourself. I've actually taken some of my earnings to go and buy property in North Carolina, and uh, I'm super happy with this program. These guys changed my life. You know what? Just form your own opinion and sign up with the link in my top pin comment. If you have not joined, I definitely recommend it.